This was a new one for me, the Geneva Drive mechanism. Have you heard about this? Stick around, I'll show you how I designed and printed on my 3D printer this Geneva Stop Drive mechanism. My interest lately has been on small little mechanisms with moving parts. The first one that I worked on was a dual spur gear that has a small gear and a large gear that can spin and rotate. And this was a lot of fun to design and print out on my 3D printer. The second one that I worked on was called the Trammel of Archimedes. Two small slides in two tracks with a lever and a slide arm that moves them back and forth through it. I've made videos of how I designed and printed these and I'll put a link in the description below. The next one that I learned about was called the Geneva Drive, a different mechanism with a few small moving parts and I'll show you how I designed and printed that on my 3D printer. This is the process that I used to design the Geneva Drive in Fusion 360. I followed a YouTube video from Etienne K who shows the process for designing this four slot Geneva Drive. I sized it down 50% to just make a smaller version of it. This is probably not a beginner level design as you'll want to try some simpler designs first. It's not that hard and probably just learning the joints of assembly, the revolution for the cam and the follower, as well as the contact set. So how the one part will drive the other and grounding the base are some of the tricky parts to learn. After designing them, then I uh, sent them to my Ender 3 version 2 3D printer, printing the base out, the cam in some different colors, and then printing a couple different versions of the follower just to have some variety. You'll see I did have some stringing and there was some trimming to do after printing the parts, but I was very happy how it came out. So here are the parts to the Geneva Drive. First is the base, and it just is a flat plate with two posts sticking out for both of the drive mechanisms that will sit on it. Secondly is the cam with a pin driver and then a cam uh, circle around. And then the third one is the little follower. I have printed this in a number of different colors as you can see here and let's see how they go together. The cam will just slide on there onto the post and set in position and rotate around. I made a little finger slot for it to move as you can see here and you see that the pin will be rotating around. Next we have the follower and again that will slide onto the pin on the other side so you can see how the follower the contour of the follower is following the circle on this part now the cam the pin will slide into the slot and it will rotate around and allow it to spin very nicely very easily here and for every one revolution of the cam, the blue part, the red follower will increment just a quarter of a rotation as it enters the slot and it will rotate it forward. So you can see that it will take four rotations of the cam into the follower to move it. So you can kind of see that this is a part that would allow the rotation of maybe a motor gear um, moving that is continuously moving um, such as in the blue part and then just intermittent motion on the white part on the follower. Uh, these have been used for movie projectors in the past to increment the frame forward and I believe they also had uses in watches especially since it's called this Geneva drive mechanism. Uh, the belief is that it came from uh, designs in designers in Switzerland using these for the watches that they designed and made. And this is 
Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to hold on to it and still rotate it at the same time. But it's been interesting to design this, print these out on my 3D printer, and then see a little mechanism that rotates and spins, and one part of it drives the other part. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something. If you have, please give us a like down below. And also, we'd love your support for the channel by hitting subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.